Alright guys, Ivan here, and this past week the hot topic was Kion Pearson and how much he improved since Arnold Classic until New York Pro. The transformation that he was able to make in such a short time span was really amazing and it begged the question, is he still natural? Some people believed that he was natural, some people doubted it, but right now it doesn't really matter anymore since he admitted a steroid use which you will hear in this video shortly. So, his sponsor and his coach, the CEO of Blackstone Labs, PJ Brown, has a podcast on his YouTube channel where the guest was actually Keon Pearson. They talked about many topics about Keon and his prep. If you're interested, you can watch it. I will leave the link down below. And in this video, PJ says that Keon made that crazy transformation and came much harder because of the use of anabolic steroids. Kion also admits this, so I will play the video for you guys and you can see it for yourself. I was like, I really think that you should do the New York Pro. Now, what did you think about... So we, one of the things that, that I thought was kind of annoying, although I knew it was going to happen, is do you pay attention to... So we put out the video where Flex and I both said, talked about you being natural and how like amazed we were with your genetics. And then there was like a bunch of people that were like, oh, he's lying, he's lying. And that, that actually made me really mad because none of us had any reason to lie. And nobody else that I've ever worked with was natural. And I've been supporting not being natural all these years. And I, I do a podcast that's mostly about steroids these days and, and advising people on the best way to use them. And I got all these people calling me a liar all of a sudden. I think they probably told me I was a liar more than, more than Keon. But did, did, did it bother you that people were like, oh, this guy's lying, he's lying? No, it didn't bother me. Because they think that anyway, right? Yeah, I... I I have people in public ask me straight up, you know, what do you take? And I tell them, and then they'll, they'll call me a liar in the face. So it's nothing new to me. Well, I was like, I told them straight up. I go, look, here's the deal. This is the best that you're going to be natural. And you'll you'll definitely keep improving for sure. Um, but for what you're trying to do, for where you're we're trying to go, I'm glad that, you know, you stayed natural and you did this all, all the way through. Uh, I, but for New York, I'd like to try some different things and see what we can do and improve you. You know, like we can't do much because you're not going to be able to stay in this class anymore. So you're going to have to really evaluate everything and think to yourself, all right, do I want to stay totally natural and not ever leave this division and probably not grow that much because I'm already at the max level of my class or do I want to be the best version of myself that I can be, which means getting bigger, leaner, harder. And uh, one of the critiques that he got was that he wasn't quite as hard as some of the other guys. And I told him straight up, I go, here's the deal. You're never going to be as hard as the guys that are using androgens because it just hardens your physique more. That's just a fact. And uh, I said, you can put years and years in and you'll get harder as the years go by, as you get older. But you'll never be as hard as the guys that are using androgens. That is just one of the effects of androgenic hormones. And I said, you know, there's a way that you can do things that will make you harder very fast if you go that route but we can't have you growing too much. And so he said he was interested in trying, so he made some differences uh, and some changes to his prep for New York, and you look a lot different already. And there you go. That's about it. It is official now. Keon is not natural anymore. Anymore? Was he ever natural? Well, I'm sure he was once in his life, but did he compete naturally? Did he really compete at the Arnold Classic naturally? Um, PJ says he has no reason to lie. Of course he does have a reason to lie. He has a supplement company. I mean, Keon is sponsored by him and if you think that he was able to make all those gains by only training, eating and using supplements and not steroids, you are much more likely to buy some of his products. So that's something that everybody knows how it works. That's what bodybuilders used to do in the 90s and early 2000s you know, a poster on, on a magazine with a Jay Cutler saying this is how I gained 100 pounds of muscle holding a weight gainer in his hands but that's not really how it works steroids are the real thing supplements are something that most bodybuilders don't even use some of them use some supplements but mainly they don't even use them especially not weight gainers and uh, yeah, yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Tell me what you think about it. Tell me, do you believe that Keon was natural before New York Pro? I don't think so, really. But right now, we are sure that he is not natural. So this topic will be pretty much ended after this video. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video. And if you want to see more bodybuilding content, subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.